Okay, now I'm picking up where the first video left off. Travis has the other section of smart fence that we have, and he's looking and trying to pick a path through here. Uh, it was nothing like the first section went through, but he's trying to see what's gonna work the best, because he's got one, if you can see my motorcycle down there, he's got one running, um, well, it's north and south, you can't tell that at that end that he wants to meet up with. What's it running? Uh, 46. So running uh, 4.6 kilovolts. Um, and you know, we're running through some wet grass here with that bottom wire. It's taking down the first one, or the second one now. And the smart fence comes with these little end pieces that, that stake it down here at the end. How many steps do you normally go, Trev? Well, I do about 13. Um, 13 to 14, and that seems about right. We kind of drove this section of it to match this grass down. He drove it with this uh, ranger. So you can see out here on the flat, it's it's much easier, of course. OK, 
Okay, so now we're out of smart fence and we're out of post. We've got a little bit left that we were gonna hook into up here, but we'll bring it to meet this. So this fence goes on down to the north. I don't know, it's probably 300 yards or so and hits our perimeter fence and that's where our power source is. And then the other perimeter where we started this one at, there's power goes around this perimeter of this, so we hooked into it. So, once you get on to us, like anything, you know, um, we never did really get on to the netting. We have some netting, we tried some netting, um, but I don't know, it just seems to be something we've got on to, so it just works for us, you know. So you can see here's the grazed side and here's where they're going to be moved to. So Travis will pull that up until he can meet that other fence. Okay, so we pulled that fence in and then that post there, it's pulling in and it could pull it out of the ground. Only every other one has the little cord on it with the stake in it. Um, and probably if Gallagher, if you're listening, you could uh, put that on every post and make it heavier cord because Travis says he replaces them. Um, quite regular with a regular paracord and so now he's going to show you what to do like so now this one doesn't have the, the cord and the stake on it so what are you going to do so i just take a piece of paracord i don't know three or four foot long and i just tie a loop in each end of it so the loop will stay open it won't cinch down on you and then i just come here and there's kind of a, a cut out in the post where the um, orange cords would tie on and I just take my paracord and I just loop it on there so it just kind of sits in there and it's not going to slide down because that eyelet that the wire runs through will prevent it from sliding down and I just tie a loop the same kind of loop that won't cinch down on you on the other end and I take our blue O'Brien post and I put it around the bottom like that. And I just kind of pull it out to where I see that post kind of standing up straight. And then I put that O'Brien post in the ground at an angle like that. And uh, that's just a quick, easy way to make a corner with them. So, so you can just carry all that in your vehicle, in your Ranger, four-wheeler, whatever you might have out here. He's just got through time he knows what he's going to need and what to carry with him and how to do it so you find out little th tricks and things as you work with it so okay I'm going to stop this video here before we let these guys out there's some other things that we do and it, it would get rather long again and so I'll put this other one up and you can watch it um, here in a day or so we'll, we'll have it up but there they are and they kind of got an idea of what's going on <laughs>